Good morning, folks. We are looking at a calm harbinger. No filament eruptions, no major solar flares. Apart from every major space weather group agreeing about the CME impact coming in another two days or so, we're all focused on the bright umbral magnetic fields indicating an enormous ramp up in sunspot production. Even without major flares, the flaring uptick is on the rise. In 131 angstroms, you can see the flashing at the umbral field concentration points. Those are the sunspots. We nearly got up into M range today, and that could continue. From a blank disk to sunspots galore in just half a week. The newest to be seen are developing fast near the limb, with more coming to the south of them, while out ahead of that is a snaking sunspot region that has beta polarity already and solid mixing potential for the rest of the day. All while the big established group we've seen before takes a beta, gamma, delta magnetic class. Blue positive umbras are split up rather than all grouped, and their interaction with the negative cores is unmistakable. Delta class sunspot. Seven days of solar wind show the moderate coronal hole stream is slowly waning away now. Speed drops and the big fluctuations begin to disappear on the electron flux. Earth's magnetic shield having a pretty good day. Coronal holes. We've got one departing near the equator. Down south you see the one spinning around the south pole. And you should see the next one, bottom left, coming in as a dark patch. This is part of the same negative opening that has been more geo-effective for days now. We'll see if the fields remain open. Either way, she's got major power right now, much more force than the weekend's coronal hole was. No major quakes the last day, but each of these hit 6 magnitude on at least one reader. When we show the weather, watch for Earth spots at New Zealand and north of the Indonesia tremors you see here. Also got reports of major waves striking the west coast of the Americas. These were enormous, meters high, and there have already been casualties from the waves. High surf warnings will continue for days. Let's get an ice update. It was so wonderful to see the Arctic have that cold event the last month and approach the average ice extent on record, but she is warming up for summer now while Antarctica just ended a hotter spell that left it still breaking high ice marks. This season's going to be amazing down south, just you watch. Anyway, let's go to those earth spots. Typhoon candidate tracking north of Indonesia to that volcano in the Philippines that we saw yesterday. Got some time till that one hits. This was the scene from that power low in southeastern Australia. Deadly flooding was the result. Of course, those power lows are also earth spots, and that one has moved on to New Zealand now, triggering the quake we saw earlier and leading that weaker convergence to the south of Australia as they both track eastward. That is a heck of a temperature swing in the U.S. and Canada. The convergence line driving wind opposite directions is causing that shift, and the collision point of air mass is straddling the low to the north. Major temperature, moisture, and electric potential differences to be worked out above this area tonight. Check your storm forecast as this one could get rough. Same general rough warnings in Europe. One powerful low in convergence has just become two powerful lows in convergences, and they combine in the south to drive an insane cloud line onto the land here. Weather shares from Europe, please. Lastly, folks, just a reminder that this is the last month for pre-registration prices for observing the frontier. June 1st, we enter the normal registration period, so if you are coming out to Pittsburgh this October, don't sleep on this one. Also happening June 1st is a boost to our premium content available as we officially begin the partnership with Earth Changes Media. The price of membership will go up slightly on June 1st, but I will honor the pledge to lock in renewal rates for the life of the site. You sign up before June 1, you pay the older, lower price for good. As always, you can't imagine how much we appreciate your support. We've got the current conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.